Feliz Navidad, da, 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 da. Feliz Navidad, da, 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 da. I wanna wish you, <laughs> never mind, I'm not gonna try to sing, I forgot all the words and I gonna say one thing, fuck you mighty, you don't need to have a nice Christmas, but everyone does, else, everyone else can have a nice Christmas. Mighty, you're a simp, you don't need to have a happy Christmas, okay? So, uh, <laughs> back to me, just, uh, uh, let me talk about this what if, okay? So, this is my Christmas special. So, I've been doing, like, um, from Halloween, I did a Halloween special. From Thanksgiving, I did a Thanksgiving special. And for this, it's gonna be my Christmas special. And now, of course, I'm recording this on the, what's it called, 24th? Wait, what, what is today? Yeah, the 24th. And, um, well... Since it's the 24th and tomorrow's going to be the 25th and it's going to be Christmas, I'm going to be uploading it on Christmas. So, when, of course, when it becomes really freaking dark, because I'm going to be uploading this at 12, because that's when it's going to change to the 25th. Yeah. But, let me, let me just mention that later, okay? But... Let me explain how this is going to work. Because this is called, What If Naruto Was Krampus? Yes, this is my Christmas special. Um, what's it called? One person actually guessed this right. And I can't remember their names. But of course, it's, it's a long time. Uh, what's it called? Come to this YouTube channel and all that. And they managed to guess my what if for uh, Christmas special right. Now, of course, you probably half of you were thinking, Oh, he's probably going to... Do Santa the Jolly Man? Nah. If you don't know who Krampus is, um, well, your parents must have not taught you anything. Now, of course, I barely even knew who Krampus was. Even I barely even knew who was Santa when I was young. Okay, I didn't know any of these Christmas things because I'm fucking Mexican. Okay, my parents are Mexican. Uh, they didn't know what the fuck the Jolly Man or what the fuck Krampus are exactly. They still don't know what the hell Krampus is. I know it because, well, I watch a lot of, um, a lot of videos. Jesus Christ, I, I do watch a lot of YouTube. I should probably stop, but I don't care. Because I still keep watching YouTube for no reason. Because I'm bored and I have no friends. <laughs> now, uh, not the point, but... So, let me explain who Krampus is. Krampus is, well, you can say he is the... Evil version of Santa. Instead of bringing you gifts, he's gonna rob you. He's gonna kidnap your ass and then bring you to his dungeon. He's gonna fucking uh, murder you and eat you alive. That's what Krampus is. Uh, if you want it not brutal enough, let me let me show you a non-brutal, uh, brutal what's it called, gruesome description of Krampus. Actually, there's none because I don't give <laughs> because that's the only freaking thing I can actually just say about Krampus. I can also say Krampus is mostly like a demon. He is a demon who feeds on the kids that do bad things, okay? So if you do bad things, you know how in original Santa would just bring you call? Nah, Krampus will come into your house, break down your door, kidnap you, and then bring you to his like house, his crib and all that, and beat your ass uh, like Every day until you just be broken, and then he's gonna eat your ass. So yeah. Now, yes, Nars is gonna be Krampus. He's gonna be a uh, demon. So yeah, let me begin this. So we go into a story, not like others before. We go into a once upon. No, you. Know, I'm not gonna be doing that. <laughs> I was thinking of doing like a once upon. Oh yeah, you. Yeah, uh, you want. I should shut up, okay? So, we go into Naruto. Into, well, him being four years old. Well, what's it called? Not four years old. The whole Nine Tails attack was still happening. Naruto was born. He still has the Nine Tails still inside him. And yeah. Now, we go into what's it called Naruto being four years old. Well, not four years old. Five years old. He sees that a lot of people, uh, well, a lot of kids on Christmas are like having this like good time. They're having this great fantastic time with our parents and of course uh older kids and older people are like throwing snowballs at naruto saying go away demon be gone demon demon this demon that and naruto's pretty sad and angry but he's mostly sad 
that no one's actually wanting to be his friend on Christmas. Even though Christmas is supposed to be a happy, jolly day. And you have to be very, very nice to people, okay? Or unless the jolly man will give you coal. And Naruto has heard that from Haruzen. And Naruto has tried to be nice to people. But, you know, people are pricks. So, um, yeah, they don't want to be friends with Naruto. They're pricks, so they hate Naruto. But Naruto, he is just, well, he kind of never had a Christmas experience, okay? So every year, every, sin, every year since he was five to all the way to his, like, he is what's called uh, nine years old. No one ever wanted to help him out on Christmas. Now, uh, Hinata was also someone that never liked Naruto on Christmas and all that. And yeah. Now, this is where Naruto, he's getting actually chased on Christmas Day. People are actually chasing him with like snowballs and people that make what to call a snow kunai, quotation marks. Pretty much that kunai that's made out of snow or ice is actually a, ru a real kunai just embedded with snow to kind of look like a snow kunai. But yeah. So ninjas and all that are chasing Naruto when he's nine years old. Now where's Horuzen at? Well, Horuzen would have like kept an eye on Naruto. It's just he's spending time with his family. So he's not really looking at Naruto on Christmas Day. So yeah. Naruto is getting chased by the villagers. And the villagers just wants nothing but just killing Naruto. Now Naruto he is in the academy. It's just well, no one likes him or anything. Now Naruto, he's managing to run away and get away from people until well, he accidentally well managed to get out of the Leaf Village and he's keep running and of course ninjas and siblings are still chasing after him. So of course this is where Naruto he falls into a ditch. Yes, Naruto. When he was running through the forest, the snow was, well, making him go a little too fast and accidentally tripped and started just sliding down. That he fell into a giant hole. Basically, it looked like a sinkhole. And of course, it's where Naruto falls down. He's like, ah! And he screams, and the only thing you hear from an echo is just screaming. Of course, all the civilians and ninjas say, yeah, we killed the demon. Now we're going to get presents from Santa. For being uh well getting rid of the demon. Now Naruto, he falls down all the way down. It's about like uh, five hundred deep just like fall. So of course Naruto broke all his bones and is hurting. He's like oh, why do people hate me? I'm only nine. But why? Why? Now, this is where, well, Naruto sees this weird-looking black crystal. It's, well, the place he fell down is, like, has this, well, it's an ice cave. And this is where Naruto is kind of, he managed to move a little bit. But when he looked up, he sees this, this black crystal. This, like, black ice crystal. Everything else is, like, normal kind of white ice crystal and all that. But this is a black crystal. Black crystal. Uh, ice crystal. This is where Naruto says, What the hell is that? So, Naruto, he was about to touch it until he got memories. Memories of, well, something that he should have been born with. Well, before coming into this world. It seems like his powers were still away from that, well, from him, exactly. Into this black ice crystal. Now all the memories he gets are well. Memories that he is supposed to do. In Christmas. And this is where all the memories he gets. Well. He goes into a coma for four years. Well not four years. Well. Three years. Naruto. Has woken up from that coma. Yes we do a three year time skip. So. Naruto has woken up. Now, Naruto has changed. He's 12 years old, yes. But, his features, his face, 
his body changed in total. Now, Naruto, he has horns. He has goat legs because he has a crap as has. He has a tail. And his body, his upper torso, well, he's all ripping all that. And he has like these arms and all that. So kind of like this, claw arms and all that. And well, he just look at himself at this ice crystal mirror looking thing. Well, it just looks like crystal, but it's like reflection to, to him and all that. Now, Naruto does not know he is 12 years old right now. But he knows what he must do and what he must to every day on Christmas. But he was also want to get revenge on all those pathetic humans that actually torture him. So Naruto has became Krampus. The well Naruto was supposed to be originally Krampus, but he his powers got sealed away by an accidentally stupid god. Okay. So yeah. Now since that happened, Naruto he is also, well, what's calm. It's pretty much not really said on how tall Krampus is. Um, no, no. He is seven foot tall. So I just had to research that. But yeah, he is that tall. And of course, Naruto is that tall also. Now, Naruto, what his abilities are for being Krampus is to shape shift. And also be very very strong he is superhuman above superhuman strength so he's also able to kind of bring out demons to help him out and well kind of kill him he can also what's called well there's not many things on what Krampus can really do but also Naruto can also have another ability call if someone fears Naruto enough, Naruto would just get stronger and stronger and stronger. That's what mostly demons in real life usually do. If you don't know about that. If you're not really much of a, uh, what's it called? Um, what was, what do they call? Those people that freak out over ghosts. If you're not much of that kind of person and don't really care about the demon things or all that, you're not non-believer in that. I'm not much of a be believer neither, but you know, uh, I usually just chalk up a lot of things, you know. Blech. You know how some, like, electricity falter people used to scream it's a ghost, but really it's just faulty, like, uh, wiring? But yeah, that's how I usually chop that all up. But those people that do kind of believe in, in it, if you know how demons usually work, because I, well, I watch a lot of Unsolved, Buzz on, uh, BuzzFeed Unsolved, with Ryan and Shane, and how they, uh, well, Ryan kind of screams out, demons usually, uh, what's it called? Feed off, what's it called, your fear and all that. That's what basically Naruto's going to be able to do. And, well, basically he's a demon. Krampus is basically a demon, okay? So, yeah. And so, Naruto's eight, that's one of his abilities. His another ability is, well, if you've been very, very naughty, Naruto can actually know. How naughty you be? How well not naughty became, but how naughty you are. He has like this sixth sense that he knows that you have been really really bad. Like if you kill like these this many people, Naruto, he grows stronger and actually gets to torture you on how many you killed. So yeah, now or how many you bully and yeah you get the point. Okay. So Naruto, he is twelve. He is seven foot tall. Now we go into Horuzen. Horuzen been freaking out for three years. Not three years. One year because, well, Naruto's gone. Where the fuck did he go? Until he found out, well, some villagers chased him out. And, well, he fell into a ditch and died. And Horuzen says, Well, I don't need to buy him any goddamn presents. That's less work for me. So, yeah. Horuzen was kind of a prick also in this one. So, he didn't really protect Naruto from villagers in Christmas. I don't even think he even did that in original canon. But yeah. Well, we go into the Christmas day for, well, uh, three years. Now, Horuzen's having a good time in Christmas and all that. A bunch of people are having a good time. It's the middle of the night, so some people are going to sleep for their presents and all that. Some kids. Until this is where Naruto appears. And, well, he is wearing 
black, like a black like coat, red pants, and he doesn't have any shoes because he has well goat legs, and he can run really fast. By the way, so yeah, if you know if you don't know how a goat usually runs, they run pretty fucking fast, and that's how Nard is able to run, and they can jump pretty high. So yeah. Now Naruto, he is kind of just walking through the leaf village, and people, well, the gate guards that were at the front, which usually would like, would have like stopped Naruto, but they didn't see Naruto. Naruto actually can use magic to kind of use the snow around him to kind of look like he's invisible, but he could be right in front of you, but there's snow right in front of you. But Naruto can just do that. So Naruto, he can smell, he can sense, he can see how many people have been naughty this year. And so Naruto goes onto a good day in Christmas night. And so Naruto goes into multiple buildings, breaks in, takes the kid, not even breaks in, <clears throat> kind of just manage to open the door or just easily go through it and all that. He can face through it or anything like that. Then takes the kid, throw him in the sack. And of course the kid can't really scream because he just thrown into a sack. And that sack is somewhat of a portal to be thrown into a dungeon. Yes, Naruto when he fell into that cave thing, whatever, he managed to well make himself a dungeon castle. This dungeon castle is pretty high in the air. He used all that ice that was in the bottom of that cave that never melted to kind of make himself a floating castle. So this is where Naruto, he got so many kids. He got about 2,000 kids and also some grown-ups and, well, some ninjas. Because where Naruto disappears for that Christmas night. So, Naruto... Oh, well, let me say this again. Sasuke, his, like, whole family still died and all that. So, yeah, that won't matter that much. But Naruto, he smelled Sasuke and how much uh, Sasuke hated was called Itachi. And, well, Naruto went after Sasuke. Took him in the bag and threw him there. Now, this is where Naruto, before he left the village, this is where Naruto, he made a spell. A spell to make what's it called that whole how the hell do you bring demons into that circle thing whatever I forgot what it's called but he makes multiple around multiple of them around the leaf village this is where he is, says demons come out and have your fun time with these weakling humans so of course multiple demons have appeared some that kind of looks like Naruto but way taller and muscular and all that they're berserker collars. They are called berserkers, berserker, but berserkers. Some that look like minotaurs. Some that are well, they have wings. Some that are red. Some that are like blue. That can actually use well blue flames. Of course, multiple of them appeared, and of course, this were well ninjas started trying to fight back against the demons. Now they don't have holy weapons, so they're getting their ass kicked by the demons. And this is where Naruto is like, <laughs> You all pay for your crime against me, you immortals. And I will take your life for what you did to me. And so where Haruzin appears right in front of Naruto slash Krampus. So this is where Haruzin says, Who are you exactly? Naruto slash Krampus says, My name is Krampus. And I am someone to bring this shinobi world to what to call. If you are naughty, you are basically dead. If you are good, the jolly man will bring you presents and show that you are good. I will now teach this world a lesson on never to mess with a... Ah, I, w I was about to say uh, potentially to mess with a god. So yeah, that's what Naruto said. Haruzo says, I will not let you destroy my village. Tries to attack Naruto, but Naruto dodges. Now, Naruto, he is, well, 
what's it called? He is pretty fat. Since he is kind of like goat slash demon eye. Is there a Naruto? He spreads out wings and says, You cannot take me on, old man. Is there a Haruta says, What the hell are you? Some demon, are you? Fine. Then I'll have to just use Chutsu. So Haruta tries to throw a fire Chutsu at Naruto, and Naruto just slaps that fire Chutsu away. He says, You cannot defeat me, you immortal fool. You mortal old foolish man. Is where? Well, Haruta says, Damn it. What the hell? What the hell is this kid? Or what the hell? Not kid. What the hell is this person? Guy, whatever. Demons are right now running through what's called the leaf village, burning it, descending into rubble, crushing everything. Kakashi's fighting against some demons and he's getting overthrown and all that. This is where, well, Mike Kai is the only one that has not get hurt by any demons. All the demons ignore him because he is, well, one of the most purest, what's it called, people out there. Same with Rock Lee. And uh, Nechi uh, Tenten is not really hurt that much. Because, well, she's also kind of kind and all. And, but Nechi over here getting his ass kicked and actually getting killed. Hinata, she will actually, well, get killed also. Because, well, in this one, she was actually kind of cocky. Like what's called Kiva. Sasuke, she died in an instant, okay? She died in an instant. Like, so many demons appear and say, Sup, bitch. We killing you now. So, yeah. Uh, of course, well, the most that was, what's it called, overrun by demons was Donzel. There was about, like, 500 demons appearing in Donzel's, what's it called, little base. Donzel didn't expect this many, like, what's it called, creatures to appear. This is where, well... He told his root almost to attack and well half his root almost are dead now. And Don's is still alive. And he did manage to enter some demons. This is where about another a couple of demons have just appeared. And this is where Don's is like, what the fuck? This is where demons start overthrowing, what's it called? Over rushing and overthrowing what's it called Donzel's army. And of course, Danzo says, I can't die. I won't die. Yamato! Yamato tried to use wood style until half the demons managed to, well, kind of copy uh, Yamato's wood style. But instead of being brown to be wood style, it's actually red. It's a blood red. And of course, when it collides with Yamato's attack, it, well, destroys Yamato's attack. It also was called, um, well, turn Yamato's wood style to red instead of what well, being brown. With that happening, Naruto is right now fighting against Harusen and saying yours is a weakling to me, human. <laughs> now Harusen can see this person has blonde hair, and the only other person he can remind has blonde hair was Naruto. This is where Naruto says, "Oh, are you trying to remember me, old man?" Since Naruto can also somehow remind. Okay, Krampus really doesn't have that many, well, doesn't have many abilities and never was said or anything like that. So, I'm just giving abilities to Naruto. Now, sorry about that. Now, Naruto, he's right now fighting as a Ruzi. This is where Naruto can actually take control of that of the QB power. And Naruto went into that of the Phyto Cloak. Now, this is where Harusen says, wait, that's a He couldn't say it fast enough, and this is where he smashes into a couple walls. Now, we go into Kuranai, and since, well, um, Kuranai did try to put Genshu to over demons, but they get, they just break through it and kill her. They kill mostly a lot of people. Now, they do, when it comes to Anko Midorashi, they kind of just didn't kill it that much. Now, Anko is kind of a special case. Because she was kind of treated horribly. And so, they kind of just let her live. Because they can somewhat see Anko's past. And Anko has no fear against these demons. She is kind of psychotic, but that's only a mask. And really, they just kind of ignore her. They see a beaky. They, well, try to attack a beaky. Uncle tries to protect them. And Uncle does die. 
So yeah, Ibiki also does die because he can't defeat demons. No one can defeat demons or anything like that. So the Kurama clan, the Hugo clan, the Abaraimi clan, the Nar well, they ignore the Nara clan because the Nara clan are just too lazy. And they see that these are demons and they're like, this is such a drag. And so they really don't attack or anything. And since Shikamaru was kind of like nice and all that. Like he didn't hate Naruto and all that. They basically ignore Shikamaru and like Shikamaru's parents and all that. Uh, Choji's parents and all that and Choji. They don't attack him because he's also nice. And yeah. Also, uh... The Abaraimic, you know, the Abaraimic clan was also nice and all. Uh, they do not attack the Yamanaka clan either. You know, since she was kind of a bitch, she does die and all. Now, of course, um, the Inuzuka, Kiba does die. Except for Hana. Hana was actually one of the nice ones in there. But yeah. So, a lot of, like, what's called clans do perish. The Uchiha clan, they were gone a while before they got exterminated by the demons. But yeah, this is where Naruto has actually defeated Horuzen. And he's just sitting on his body and laughing. You think, <laughs> oh, I will send this world into pure, pure, what's called, not chaos. He wouldn't say pure chaos, but say pure balance. For you, jolly man, jolly red man, since you were someone that was supposed to help me out, but the god kind of stopped me. Eh, whatever. I'll see you all, friend Santa Claus. Naruto, he disappears and all the demons just goes back into their, like, dimension and all that. Basically hell and all that. And yet, Naruto, we go into a four-year time skip. We're not four year time skip. Yes, you want know a four year time skip. Yes. Naruto, he is now 16. Now, Jiraiya, when Naruto came across Jiraiya, he kind of sensed what's called the balance in Jiraiya and I. He might be naughty, but he's also kind of kind. But yeah. He found Sonata, and Sonata's just a drunk mess. And Sonata did kind of help those people back then, would try to. And yeah. He met what's called Archimaru, and Archimaru did try to take his body, and then, well, Archimaru got his body ripped into multiple pieces. Same with Kabuto and a bunch of sound ninjas. But yeah. With that happening, so many people are, are dying in the whole cross of the country, well, multiple of different countries. The snow country, the uh, what's called um, stone country. Sam, uh, wind country, lightning country, uh, water country, you get the point. Gato died. Like, half the villains in Naruto, they died because, well, they came across Krampus slash Naruto. So, yeah. Naruto, he has killed everyone, even the Akatsuki. He got rid of all the Akatsuki. Even Itachi and all that. But, that's where, well... After the whole bloodshed shed of, well, uh, what's called, purchasing, like, not purchasing, kind of like doing a purge on, like, every person that was naughty and all that, even the kids and all that, and has tortured them and killed them and eat them, so yeah. Uh, well, after that long, we go into, well, Naruto being 20. Well, being a demon, yours would be like some, I uh, know, like 200k or something like that, okay? But Naruto, he has just finally purified the world, but somewhat. He just balanced it out. Now, as a word, the jolly man appears and says, ho, ho, ho. Start bringing presents and all that to people and all that. And yeah. Now. Yes, I know this was a one shot. I really couldn't have thought of anything more. Yeah. But, I mean, that's how I can see it going if Naruto was Krampus. But yeah, Naruto. Well, I mean, what's it called? What is happening to Naruto? 
Well, Naruto has kind of still, well, kind of done the whole tradition as like Krampus in real life, or not real life, in the stories, where he kind of takes the naughty kids and kills them and all that. So yeah, that's what Naruto does for the rest of its life span. Until someone else gets to be chosen to be Krampus. Oh yeah. Now, this is where I'm going to leave it off. Yes. This is probably only a one shot. So yeah. Have a nice potato day. Potato night. Potato seat. Potato potato. Yes, I'm going to do part three of what if Naruto was in the Matrix. But as that is all. <coughs> now, uh, before I leave, I'm going to just say... Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad, everyone at now. Porque, wait, what am I talking about? Ah, fuck. Okay. <clears throat> yes, this will be the end of, well, this what if. So, yeah. Um, I might just take a very long outro by just singing the song Feliz Navidad. And I, I hope everyone have a Merry Christmas. Like a very nice Christmas. Um, except for you, Mighty. Fuck you. But everyone else, uh, yeah, have a nice Christmas. <laughs> I know Demon's gonna be like, yeah, fuck you, Mighty, <laughs> in the comments. But yeah, um, what's it called? Uh, but yeah, um, have a nice Christmas day. Cri yeah, Christmas night, whatever. Uh, if you don't celebrate Christmas, um, which I don't know if everyone does celebrate Christmas around the world. I never paid attention that much in history class, okay? Or not history class. Uh, whatever the fuck they teach you in, what that one class teach you about the world and all that. Yeah, I don't really care that much, okay? But yeah, have a happy Christmas, have a happy Hanukkah? Is that one of the holidays? Some people celebrate well if it's not Christmas. Whatever. Just have a good Christmas holiday day, whatever, man. I don't know, okay? Uh, If you're going to ask if I'm going to be doing a New Year what if? Yeah, I'm probably not. Unless the New Year what if is just going to be me doing something stupid and then... Actually, I have an idea for the New Year one. <clears throat> but not the point. So, I will end it off here. So, this is where the song will be playing. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas Of my heart I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas Because I don't know Feliz Navidad Everyone would get probably a present down them. Ba ba da ba ba da ba da ba da ba da da da. Feliz Navidad. Because you need Christmas. I don't really know what the fuck the meaning of Christmas is really about. But yeah, I wish you a merry Christmas.